thinking of becoming an editor? Well this video is for you. I'm going to talk about the entire process of becoming an editor so get ready. Also, there are time stamps in the description so feel free to skip to whichever point you'd like. And with all that out of the way, let's get started. First thing you need to do is figure out what you actually want to edit. You might have seen some videos on YouTube on editing shows or maybe even just classic editing videos. Either way you need to find something that you'd actually watch. Because if you edit something that you don't like, trust me it won't be fun. Let's say you already found something to edit congrats. Now it's time to do some shopping. For free obviously because I know we are all broke. I'm going to talk about computer-based programs for now. You can skip this section if you plan on editing for phone. Starting with the editing program. I recommend this program. It's the one I use. You can watch YouTube videos and tutorials on how to use it. It's easy to use and has some pretty decent features. I don't like changing my editing programs a lot but an honorable mention is this program. I personally never used it but from the videos I saw. It seems like a good program for editing. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Because this isn't the only editing shopping we're gonna do. We also need some audio clips, footage, and the actual content we're gonna use. For me audio clips this website is honestly amazing. You can find tons and tons of audio clips. And as for the footage and content, YouTube is the perfect place. People ask me all the time where I get my Barbie episodes from or where I get my meme footage from. And the answer is YouTube. Here you can see my editing file and it contains a lot of audio files and meme videos that I use for my videos. And they're all from YouTube and the audio website. You can literally just Google a YouTube to MP4 website and you can download any YouTube video to your computer. And if you want to record your screen while doing something then this program is the one you're looking for. As for thumbnails, this website is really good for making them. It has all the features and is quite easy to use. So we've covered the footage, programs, and websites, thumbnails, and content. Now let's move on to editing on phone. And don't have a lot of experience but this app is really good. I have used it before in my channel. And I also use it for fan edits. From the features you can tell that this app is designed for fan edits but it can also be used for meme edits or vlogs and more. You can screen record the footage and sound and use it in the app. And as for the thumbnails these apps are perfect. I'm sorry if the phone editing section is small. As I said I'm not too experienced so I can't really give any more advice on this matter. So now you're all good to go. You essentially have everything you need to become an editor right? Wrong. The most important thing that you need is time. You can't rush editing. And I know some of you are watching this at 3 a.m. thinking that you're gonna start editing a video right now and finish it. Well you thought wrong. Because what people don't realize, once they start editing is the fact that having an editing-based channel is not as easy as you think. Usually some YouTubers would make some get ready with me videos or some vlogs or maybe a makeup tutorial. And do you know what all of these have in common? The fact that they're visual content. If you watch that type of content you're not gonna care if a text is slightly off or if a clips was cut too fast, or if the audio is slightly misplaced. But when you watch content that is strictly for editing, you're gonna look out for everything. It's the precision and hard work that makes an edit good. And that takes time. More time than you think. Because practicing editing is not an easy task. It's been over a year since I started editing, and I still don't think that my edits are as good as they should be. And that's good. You should never settle for something. You have to always want to be better. That's how you improve. So my advice to all new editors is to practice a lot. But don't be hard on yourself if your edit doesn't look as good as you hoped. You need time and hard work. This is a journey, and you have to enjoy every part of it. Even the bad parts. Because there will be times when you feel like you don't want to edit anymore because you're not seeing the improvement. But trust me, with time you will improve. Every little project you make is a step towards success. Of course that's as long as you put some effort into them. And once you start uploading your edits, and videos to the public, and get some feedback it will be such a good feeling. Seeing people enjoy your work is honestly the best, because you feel like all your hard work really paid off. And if you don't get support immediately then that's fine too. Just keep going and working on yourself and people will recognize your skills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit different than what I usually make. But the amount of editing questions I get daily has made me motivated to do this video. Because I'm so excited that so many people want to pursue editing and work on a new skill. Hopefully this video helped you. 